and at least speak to your relatives if you want to do that. And look at the extraordinary gift you can give. Fabulous. Simon, I take my hat off to you. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. Interesting story. Now, do you know a shopaholic? There's one sat not very far away from me right now, but they'll be interested to know that retail giant John Lewis has announced he wants to open a department store in an out-of-town shopping centre in York. Now, is that good news? Well, yes, on the face of it, to shop as it might be. Plans are, uh, are afoot to open a branch at Monk's Cross near the site of a rugby stadium, which stands there at the moment. It would create about 300 jobs and form part of a development to include a new football stadium for York City FC. But what about the shopkeepers? They're not all that happy. Here's Danny Carpenter for us in York. Danny, your, your reaction, everybody else's reaction, please. Uh, yes, Chris, let me show you. This is what York is all about. Interesting museums, ancient monuments, and just across the car park, attractive shops. And it's the traders in there who most fear this new development. They say it's one retail outlet too far. It's going to force people to make a choice between being a tourist or a shopper. In the city, or out of town. Half term is over and it's not yet Christmas, but York streets are busy. Just how the traders and the wider city economy would like it. But they fear a new 500,000 square foot shopping development at Monk's Cross could cripple business. It's a very fragile balance. It only needs to take a few percent away from retail businesses to, to make that business not viable. Our biggest fear is, is uh, further out-of-town development in the city centre of York. You know, uh, York is a very vibrant city at the moment and doing very well through these quite difficult economic times. Most cities and towns have settled that out-of-town shopping, regardless of the name of the retailer, is very bad for city centres. That's national consensus now. It's a matter of national and local planning guidance here in York, simply because they're not level playing fields. And another company behind a proposed new shopping development in town says that too is now at risk. But the leader of City of York Council says the development is good news. We're investing a huge amount in our city centre. We're really going to put us on the map. We have a city centre Wi-Fi scheme. The pilot scheme is actually switched on next Friday. We're also looking at investment in our public realm and a number of other initiatives. And we really want to make sure that people want to come here, whether it's to John Lewis, whether it's to the city centre, and actually spend their money and help our local economy. Shoppers' views are more mixed. I think it's awful. Oh, do you? Why? Um, because I'm a great believer in uh, supporting small town shops. So I'm from Hull, so I've, I've come to Monk's Cross and then into, the, into York, so yeah, I think it'll bring people to it. I suppose if you're thinking about bringing, to, bringing people into the city and spending money, it's a bad idea, really. <laughs> um, maybe we should have something like that in town. Opponents of the scheme want a public inquiry. They say they could lose £90 million a year, and that means empty shops and empty streets. Well, with me now is Richard France, Managing Director of the company behind this new development. Richard, you must have heard all these concerns before. What can you do to allay these traders' fears, or do you even care? Of course we care. <clears throat> I'm a York businessman and have, uh, have to live and work in York. Uh, we do share the concerns, but uh, we've had a very robust impact uh, assessment study done, which shows York to be a very strong retailing uh, city with uh, very good retailer demand and very low vacancy of shops and the fact that John Lewis and Marks and Spencers have uh, confirmed that they want to come into our development is the cornerstone of our enabling development for the 6,000 seater community stadium which is very important to York as well. But at the end of the day, sorry, sorry to interrupt, what you're saying is there's room for both I think, but at the end of the day times are tough and people have only got so much money to spend, they are going to have to make a choice. I, I don't think that is the case. I think it's uh, a matter of our development will complement the scheme here and we would welcome a scheme on the Castle Piccadilly site. It's most probably the only site really available in York for a major retail scheme and I think it's very important that York has to keep up with the, uh, with the region, its regional competitors uh, and uh, be a, a force. Thank you, Richard, for now. Um, I'm sure we'll be returning to this. And, of course, there is that further complicating factor that he mentioned, the community stadium at which York City Football Club have told us today this retail development might be key to their very survival. Thank you very much, Danny. I have a feeling we're going to hear a lot more about that in the future. Now, coming up later in the programme. Yes, more details are released of Sir Jimmy Savile's funeral next week.